So here's a video of my 60 gallon reef aquarium. Um, <clears throat> I've had it for, uh, it's been running up for approximately eight months now. Uh, started off as a fish only system and um, uh, but now we've got corals in there. We've got a mixture of uh, softies and LPS and there's a uh, one SPS Monty there. So I'll just show you a quick brief. Got the torches there, A cans, got a little Zoa garden going on here. Obviously a lot of them are just in the frag stage at the moment. Um, hammer there, Fa Favia. Uh, got a purple Mont uh, Goni there, Goniapora and some mushrooms. So uh, fish wise, we've got a green wrasse or jade wrasse uh, around there. If we come up here, we've got a pair of clowns. Uh, there's a yellow tang in there, a royal grammar, um, a bicolor blenny hiding in there somewhere. Um, we've got a starfish. Sea, sea urchin. Um, there's a cardinal, Bengai cardinal in there. Don't know if you can see him. There's a couple of cleaner shrimps and a ray of uh, hermit crabs and um, uh, snails. There's a goby there, a little watchman goby that he is paired with a pistol shrimp, which is. Um, around somewhere. He comes out some, usually in the evenings to do digging. Um, but the system itself, I've got a <coughs> custom made rear lid for the aquarium. Uh, the lights are TMC reef photons. The tank is actually a TMC reef habitat 90, which is uh, an awesome tank. There's the bicolor blenny there. You can see him a bit better there. I think we're missing, I'm trying to think who I'm missing fish-wise. I think that's, I think that's all of them. Um, MP40, did have a TMC one, but I couldn't get on with it. Um, oh, Royal Grammar, I can't remember if I said the Royal Grammar or not. Um, so, uh, uh, yeah, so the MP40 is running on for the, uh, for the movement. Um, let's have a look in the sump. <coughs> Sorry, I have to excuse the mess. We've got the uh, Red Sea Reefer 300. Um, we've got the, uh, just the standard sump. I've got an, I think it's an H2O um, <coughs> GFO reactor. Um, running just a bag of carbon, got some biomedia in there. TMC auto top off. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And obviously just all the usual equipment that you uh, you need. And I've still got some more equipment here which I haven't set up. I've got a doser and um, some other bits and pieces, more testing equipment, more dosing. Uh, I'm currently dosing trace elements, uh, Tropic Marin ones at the moment. Um, Feeding with reef roids twice a week. Uh, we're using GFO, carbon. Um, and so far, so good. We've had no we've had no casualties. Oh, that was another core. I forgot to say the old GSP there. Uh, obviously on a rock by itself. Um, but so far, so good. I haven't had any uh, you know casualties. Uh, everything's my, my parameters seem okay at the moment. I'm doing a weekly water change and I've done for every week without fail for the last eight months. And um, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's going really well. Really happy with it. Really, I wish I'd, I'd done more of it. This is my first ever video, really. I wish I'd have done a lot more of it. Um, I will do another one with the uh, with the blues on because obviously at the moment it looks okay now. But when the blues come on, obviously you can imagine everything pops and... Uh, it's very fluorescent, that's what I'm looking for, to get as fluorescent and colourful as possible. 
so the plan is obviously to add more corals at some point and um, just that, that zoa garden I want that to all really grow out and that look really colourful um, the Monty's up there at the moment but I plan to move it once I see it start growing I'm going to move it down here because um, obviously it's going to play out a bit and block block a lot of light up uh, but the reef photon lights I run them by my phone um, I haven't done par tests at the moment but I think um, I think they're going to be really uh, they're doing I think the par results are going to be really good just going by the corals at the moment I'm getting decent growth um, certainly in a lot of the zoas and things um, but uh, yeah no everything seems to be doing all right uh but i want to um obviously i want more corals in there um i've gone for the sand uh, i didn't go for the sand i went for just a slightly thicker um stones very small stones it's a bit of algae there at the moment i've had a few uh algae um <coughs> spikes a few bacterial blooms throughout the throughout the eight months um, started dosing and uh, putting the GFO in there, so that's um, that's brought the uh, phosphates down, which is a sort of the algae problem out. I'm also one thing I am dosing uh, no pox at the moment as well, so uh, putting that you know doing that every day at the moment just to keep the uh, nitrates at a reasonable level. I think my nitrates currently running about ten. Obviously, if I want to get them a bit lower, they have been as high as I think twenty five, uh, but I want to get them want to get them down to about five really but nothing seems to be uh none of the corals seems to be pissed off by by the high nitrate so so far you know it's uh it's all it's all going all right so uh so yeah this is uh my my name's neil koshaw and uh, you know this is my tank and uh i will start to maybe do some more regular updates on this um i watch a lot of other channels on there and uh thought it's about about time i'd done a little update of my own tank uh, so I think it will be, would have been a year in July, I believe, uh, this tank's been running. And, um, yeah, really enjoying it. First, first reef tank. And, uh, obviously just learning as I go, but absolutely loving it at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, just show the cabinet why. It's like a nice slate grey cabinet. We just do some shots from the, uh, from the side there. So you can see. But it's uh, the carbons really help the uh, help the tank with the water quality. It's really looking crystal clear today, and I think that today is the reason why I've done this video because I don't think I've seen it look this nice for a while, to be honest. Uh, but I will um, I will do another update, and whenever I get some new corals and bits like that, or just you know, with the coronavirus at the moment on. I've booked a few weeks off work. There's no point working. I'm not getting anywhere with work at the moment. So uh, taking a bit of much needed holiday. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to um, just enjoy the tank. Do some, do my, my regular maintenance every, my test every Saturday morning. And I'm buying in my water and my RO at the moment. I'm only doing the 25 litre water change, uh, which is 10%. Um, I should have said at the beginning, actually, like I say, it's a 250 litre tank, around 60 gallons. So I'm doing 10% a week. And it's, um, and yeah, doing all my tests every Saturday. So uh, I will get my own, uh, start doing my own water at some point. But when you're only doing 25 litres a, a week, it seems pretty pointless, really. Might as well just go and buy it in. I've got a really cool reef shop near me called Reef Dreams, just in Winchester, uh, Southampton Way. So, uh, that's where I go. That's where I got everything from, and uh, we'll continue to do so. They're amazing. They just they just specialise in salt water, and uh, they know everything. Anything they need, you need to know about reefing, these guys know. So I go to them for everything, and uh, they come here and set it all up originally because I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just learning as I go, but absolutely loving it. So uh, yeah, this is my reef tank, and. Uh, We'll get another one on there soon. All right, take care. Bye.